another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. I am Paul Leone with... John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. And, um, you know, we've been putting up a lot of videos, and I think we've had a good array of beers, but, but one of the, our favorite breweries is New Belgium. Indeed. And talk about what you brought to the table today. Well, uh, this is something of a seasonal. It is uh, one of their... Uh, it's not a year-round beer for them. It's called Hoptober. And um, what, what, what's particularly interesting about this beer, um, New Belgium is best known for Fat Tire, of course. Mm -hmm. um, in this market, I think we've got Fat Tire and just their got wit here. beer. New Belgium just yep. came here, yeah. Uh, we've got their, their Mothership Wit in mm -hmm. 1554, which I think is a black lager. I hope I'm not screwing this up. I'm not sure. But we're not here to talk about those today. We are here to talk about the seasonal bean. Hoptober, Hoptober, Golden Ale. And what's neat about this beer is that uh, unlike many of New Belgium's beers, this one is actually quite hoppy. Really? Uh, this I is a, couldn't tell by the name, but you think? Well, yeah, <laughs> I, the name does kind of give it away, but um, th this thing is just loaded up with uh, American hops. Okay, stupid question here. So it wouldn't be an IPA. It's not an IPA. But it's just a hoppy beer. I guess people equate IPAs as, you know, the hoppy beer. Yeah, this, this is definitely... Just, the go-to beer if you're really a hop head. Yeah. But um, this one is, th well, this actually has a, a couple of unusual things. It's a golden ale, which mm -hmm. happens to be quite hoppy. All right, that's so kind of what I was getting to. Right? Yeah, yeah, there. Um, so, I mean, any beer really can be hoppy. I mean, you can put loads of hops into a porter if you want. Right. Uh, most people don't expect that, but it could be done. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, they've taken a golden ale kind of uh, base, if you will, and they've just loaded it up with a lot of American hops. I think there's five different hop varieties, if Excellent. I'm not mistaken. I always end up reading the label while we're doing the show. But, yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, one of the other show. things that's kind of neat about what they've done with this beer is that they put rye and oats into this beer. So not as it just, it, you know, a lot of times if you're doing a golden ale, you're just looking for something crisp, you know, not a huge amount of malt character. You know, right. you might want some nice snap, snappy malt character, kind of crisp and clean. But in this case, uh, by loading it with um, some of those uh, kind of alternative uh, grains, if you will, the, 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 the oats in particular are best known for... Um, giving a beer its mouthfeel. It kind of, it, t it, has, it has lots of beta-glucans. Okay. Um, uh, and anybody who's ever eaten a bowl of oatmeal knows that it, it starts to get that kind of goopy right, uh, right, right. Uh, character. Well, some of the same compounds that give it that gooey consistency in the bowl um, also uh, add kind of a mouthfeel, uh, sort of, I don't want to say viscosity, but it's, it's definitely a fullness on the palate. Right. Uh, and so they're taking a golden nail and they're making it hoppy. They're taking Hopping a golden nail and they're actually giving it this fullness on the right. palate. And uh, we actually, in addition to having it in the bottles here, um, have it on draft. Okay. There uh, we we've go. been blessed with. Um, and, uh, you know, I was looking earlier and uh, I don't have a glass. Thanks so much. But, uh, oh. That's my, all right. You keep talking. Keep my talking bad. The beer key. No, no, I'll find it the next. You brought one in for me. So John's going to talk for a second. And I'm going to go find greed. the Greed. It's just pure greed. I'm just going to sip on camera here for a moment. Actually, this is um, was a gift from uh, my dear friend Kim Jordan at New Belgium. She sent me a glass. Bless her heart. Um, I still haven't found it. No. You, grab a, a beaker. A beaker. Oh, oh yeah, beaker that's right. On the, because we're the, the, all right. Here we are at the uh, Moon River Brewing Company here in the lab, uh, here in the brew house. Uh, one can always reach for a, a glass beaker uh, because, of course, they're quite clean and uh, pristine and make uh, great beer drinking vessels because uh, you get uh, plenty of room for swirl and uh, plenty see, of room to stuff glass, your nose in there. But I'm going to grab a beaker because you said grab a beaker. So well, there you go. Uh, I guess so let's technically open this up right now. We would say and, uh, grab a Pyrex. A Pyrex. Or something. Yes, let's take a look at that color right there as you were talking. That is a thing of beauty. Wow, that is a thing of beauty. I would say deep golden. Like almost approaching amber there. Yep. Get the light on it. Excellent. And there's the bottle and right just there. Which... Lots of those American hops. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a little bit of the uh, Did you just yummy taste barbecue it? that I yeah. ate oh, nice. earlier. <laughs> Did I just... you already taste it? Oh, I smell the hops though, right off the top. Oh, I thought I mean, you were going to say you smell the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I smell the barbecue. It's on my lips. See? Oh, nice. And, uh, I think it said Willamette, um, uh, Cascades. Mm -hmm. Check my notes here. Centennial, Cascade, Sterling, Willamette, 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 and Glacier. It's like, so, you know, it just reminded me of, and I know, I know this is going to sound pretty basic, but uh, when you take hot, fresh hot leaves, and you smell them, and you rub them, and, just, and that's kind of what I smell right here. Like, right you on. You just put the hops right to that's, your nose. That's, and that's a that's, testament to the, uh, mm -hmm. the freshness of that beer. Oh, yeah. And um, I've said this before, I, I, when I, every, anytime I taste something coming straight out of the bottle that really has that fresh character, especially if it's coming all the way, or almost all the way across the country, I mean... Uh, uh, Fort Collins, Colorado is way on across the country. Right. 
it's uh, it's traveled some distance. So that to me uh, tells you that, that that it's been really well handled uh, in the bottling process. So the the props go to the the bottle shop yeah. guys for sure. Um, and and of course throughout the brewing process, there's 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 uh, sort of opportunities um, to capitalize on that fresh character. And you had mentioned that in the past, that it's not as easy as just throwing this stuff in the bottle and getting it out. It's oh, really, you, you, you really have to take care of it or it's gonna get to you bad. It's gonna be, it's, bottling is about the hardest thing. I mean, any brewer will tell you, it's about the hardest thing on the planet. Well, New Belgium is, is really great. I mean, uh, we've done, I think this might be the second one, and we just uh, talked to them at the Savannah Craft Brew Fest, the second annual, and we'll put that video up uh, hopefully soon. Uh, but we had the Dark Creek was one that we uh, reviewed uh, from them that Kim had sent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the uh, the awesome one of the lips sour, of eight, yeah, uh, lips beers. Of eight beers. And now that we finally get them in Georgia, and I know that for most of you, you've been drinking New Belgium beers for a while. We just got it here. Yeah, so, but we're always uh, kind of the last. Yeah, that's all right. At least we got <laughs> it. They changed the alcohol laws. So really nice beer. Thanks for bringing it. Really Absolutely. I'm 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 very pleased to have it, and mm -hmm. uh, look forward to drinking some more. Excellent. Uh, anything else before we sign off here? Um, oh, I was going to give a shout out to some friends of ours. Uh, this is kind of a departure from our segment here uh, talking about New Belgian beers, but uh, some friends of ours right here in Savannah have a great barbecue place called Angel's Barbecue. Uh, Andrew and Eileen Trice. Uh, in addition to barbecue, uh, as a lot of barbecue places do, um, they kind of create some of their own hot sauces. And Andrew and Eileen managed to pull off uh, first place for one of their more recent uh, uh, sauces that they started bottling called Skull Pop. And they won it in the single chili variety category. I don't, um, you know, I can go on all day about different categories about beer, but... Sure, where is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe we should reshoot. Yeah, I, no, no, it's I, good. Started, we'll get it. No, started we'll get way it. Uh, But, you know, if you go to there, yeah, no, I'm sure that if they sell it, do they sell it? <laughs> they do, yeah. something that people could buy? If they, it is indeed. Okay. We, we have it here at Moon River. Um, Excellent. Maybe the next uh, beer we try will bring out some scope. Well, if you have any questions or more about it, it's John, uh, it's Pink at BeerAmerica.tv and Paul at BeerAmerica.tv and it is New Belgium Poptober Golden Ale. Give it a shot. Cheers folks. Cheers. Ching. Goodness. It's a